everyone, welcome to another video. Today we find ourselves on the Nottinghamshire and Lincolnshire border. That's the River Trent. And this is Torxey Viaduct. And this was built for the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway. Uh, opened back in 1949. It was built between 47 and 49 and it closed way back in 1959. Now since 2016, we've been able to walk across this. There's a pathway on one side. So we're gonna get up and have a look. Um, notable points is that it's a stone construction with the pillars, but it's an iron box construction. And that is the span over the River Trent itself. Let's get up top. So right here we've got this fantastic bit of stonework and next to that we've got one of the running lines which is closed off, it's not been refurbished but you can see all the girders look, look at that, that's brilliant. Um, let's walk around on the um, path that we can walk on and we'll see if we can get a little bit closer to it. So we've not just come to see Torxy Viaduct, we've also come to see and get alongside Cotton Power Station. This closed as recently as September 2019, so around about seven months ago. Over there, we've got a cord which come off the main line. Now I believe that used to be like an oil terminal of some sort, so that's the former track bed there. And it went in where those green gates are and fed itself down there to the previous site.
Right, so after negotiating that little footpath around the River Trent and through a floodplain, it took us six or seven minutes. We're back on the original course of the track bed. We've got an old ditch or drain down the left hand side. Cotton Power Station is immediately over that side where it's uh, cold re coal reserves used to stand. So looking ahead, it's extremely, extremely straight. Um, and it will meet up with the branch line of the junction where the track, I believe, is still down, which was the access branch into Cotton Power Station itself. I'm hoping we'll get a clearing at some point. Oh, it's very, very long. Uh, on both sides, the bushes and the trees are really high, and we've still got the ditch down there. And I know we're right next to the grounds of Cotton Power Station, but we can't see a thing. If the trees will separate a bit, it looks like they will down there. And we'll put the drone up and we'll launch that over there and see what we can see. So on the right hand side of the track, by the little swampy looking area, that is um, the ash disposal site for cotton, or was. Um, so that clears that up. I have not really got it on camera, but over there it was really like swampy and grey. And it must have been really mushy when we had all that rain. So we know what that was for. I can see a cooling tower through the trees. So as we get closer, we can then have a better look at cotton and I'm hoping we can get real, real close to it. So look at this, no public access. This is on the right hand side opposite the power station. And again, we've got like an official EDF energy private property. The next thing we come to is that opening there. Oh, that's pointing down there, public bridal way. And there's a path that's been worn down. So what's the crack there? Um, yeah, answers on a postcard for that one. So it looks like there's some sort of um, overbridge here. Got the blue brick look on both sides. On the other side, there's a little stream up, or a brook. That's good. Okay. We're almost at the end of this section of the track bed and we have to go on the road a little bit. I think I can see what was an old crossing gate down here. Let's go and have a look on this lawn. Because this is the track bed. Again. It comes off, so that's it goes like this. It's the back way we've just come from, is behind us. And we've got what really does look like an old crossing gate. So this is, look, this is that old crossing gate I was mentioning earlier. So you've got to imagine at one time it would have been painted bright white with a little bit of black on it. It's still got the tension bars across it, look. And it'll come around the other side. That was probably an old railway building there. And there would have been another one on the opposite side, exactly the same. So let's 
get on here we've got to follow the road for about three minutes and then take a bit of a ride down there okay so the crossing gate is not actually a crossing gate you can see it's on the right hand side look and it's like an access gate it's got that lovely little car in front of it and you've got the steam working coming towards us and that is cotton station with the signal box and the station building and if you have a look they're exchanging a token so the track on the left that appears to be out of use already it's, it's dull and not polished like the one what the working's actually on so it's got to be around about the time shortly before the line actually closed and jumping forward to 1965 now i believe this is october 1965 and we're in the early stages of construction of cotton power station with two of the cooling towers at varying stages of being built and an image forever associated with the 70s 80s and even the 90s is the mgr merry-go-round trains now this is where it's being discharged into the power station absolutely brilliant sight which is missed by all so this is this is town street you see the cooling towers just through there again this is town street and it's going to lead on to cotton road and will eventually end up at the road the road over bridge where the railway line runs under so look at that that's your view back towards clarbra junction west burton power station rusted rails Nothing's been on here, I believe, since August, September 2019. I wonder how long these... I wonder how long these rails will actually be down for. Another line consigned to history. Let's look the other side. So look, that's the view into the power station. Now we've got the security gate down there. Look, that's closed for the last time. It looks in pretty good condition, that gate, as if it's nearly brand new, but I think it has been there a few years. Uh, up to four tracks wide there look and it'd have been you know a way in and a way out there's a way bridge over there in front of the nearest cooling tower for like lorries that was going in and on the right there's that um the enormous chimney which is it must be about four fifty five hundred feet tall so look down here we've come come trackside now um so there's the bridge we've just been stood on uh, cotton lane i put the camera through there we go look so again that's the route into the that green gates on the other side for the access to the power station and looking back there's a bush in the way that's the route back Let's see if i can get a little further down and we'll have a better look signal there I don't think it's lit up at all I thought kind of thought the power might have still been on uh, but no and there we have it right beside the dis, uh, disused railway line I'm not going to go any closer I can see from here though that the signals are indeed out so there's no power going into the signals so it's going to be the same in both directions all the way to Clarbra Junction I imagine that row of trees there that's the line we started off on and that takes you back to Torxy Viaduct where we started so what a brilliant brilliant visit this has been starting at the viaduct ending up at Cotton Power Station two absolute beauties in their own way um, I'll leave it there thank you very much for watching you take care and we'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye